We got some NBA 2K25 My NBA news. Welcome back to another NBA 2K25 courtside report. Today, we're breaking down all things new in my NBA mode. I'm Chris Manning, and I'm joined today by producer Jeff Schrader on the mode, who's going to discuss all these exciting new things with the fans. Nice. One of our favorite features is my NBA eras. You know, we added mm -hmm. a 2K23. We got four new eras. Yes. Last year, we added the LeBron era. Right. And this year, for 2K25, we got the Curry era. What? Curry era? Oh, man. I mean, it's not too far off from the LeBron era. I guess that's cool in a way. I mean, you added another era, but I mean... <sighs> At this point, just j j just put in the years, like of which point you want to start from. You get what I'm saying? Like if I want to start in 2018, let me start in 2018. Uh, I mean, that's probably going to, going to be implemented into the game, like maybe like a couple of years from now. But maybe next year they might do that instead of doing eras. You know, I I, I think that's better, honestly. Do it yourself. You can join KD, Curry, and the Warriors or try and top them with LeBron and the Cavs. I can't wait to jump into the eras. What are some new features that fans could expect? We've completely revamped how you can expand or contract the league, both in the modern era or even if you go back to any of the past eras. Now you can hey. have any team size from 12 to 36. You can actually completely grow or shrink the league as you like it going oh, from wow. year to year. You're going to be able to uh -oh. customize it to degrees that you've never been able to. Oh, I see the gameplay and, uh, hmm league as you like it going from year to year you're gonna be able to customize oh dude you see the way kevin love like shot that ball i don't know it looked a very animation base they grow or shrink the league as you like it going from year to year look you're at this animation customize it oh degree. dude i don't know if i like that or animation shrink the league as you like it going from year to year you're going to be able to customize it oh, to the man. You've never been able it looks sticky it, that, that looked very sticky and very uh like uh, i can't move I, it, it, does, it doesn't look fluid enough for me. I don't know. The league, as you like it, going from year See. to year, you're going to be able to customize it. Look how slow Draymond Green is moving. Oh. Jesus. That looked it bad. <laughs> we took the standard. My, wait, did that say my GM? Oh, they're bringing back my GM? Oh, brother. We took the standard role playing experience, and we just made it so awesome that you can actually go and choose your backstory. For example, maybe okay. you want to be... Okay, what's this? Okay, ex-player, ex-scout, quant, capitalist, closer. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, capitalist, starter, perk. Wow, you, okay, so you have perks too. Rest and relaxation. Replenish all chat points at the all-star break. Okay, so you have chat points. Hmm. Starting attributes, two bonus attribute points and one bonus perk. Okay, offensive coaching, defensive coaching, sports medicine, business, charisma. Okay, this looks not so bad. Player, yeah, I'm liking this. What, what, what was the other one? Backstory. For example, maybe you want to be an X player. Okay, so quant. Okay, so you have a little bit of a starting on the offensive coach. So the, the attributes kind of change a little bit, which is you have a starter perk here. Away games are treated like home games for player performance and fatigue. Okay, not so bad. Okay, so you get to, I guess, speak to the governor. Exact mondo. Yikes. And now this is the part where you want me to promise that we're absolutely going to win the season series. Okay. All right. So you got little objectives that I like this. This is what I'm saying. I missed, I missed this. Now we, now, and now it's like a, it's like a deal that you have to go through. Okay, I love this. I love this. It skips with spreadsheets or maybe. Whoa. Okay, so uh, there's your chat points. Uh, then it's a wrap. There's absolutely no way we drop the season series to them. I talked. I talked your talk now. I don't know what the, know what the hell does that mean. What happens if we split the series? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, for some reason that chat right there, that analytics six is um is locked. We don't know why, but it is locked. You're a closer, that you know that your battlefield is the boardroom. From there, you get to choose your attributes. Do you want to be really skilled at helping your players on the court, maybe uh -huh. improving your offense or defense, uh -huh. or do you want to have charisma off the charts so that you can wheel and deal? Okay. And get all those picks and trades that you want. Finally, oh, you get to choose your nice. perks, where we have a ton of completely new Coaching. abilities that will really revamp Business. and change how you play. Now, oh. one thing that we actually think is really cool is player expression. So, like, what do you think is the most important thing when you're building a team? For me, it's getting scores, of course. You know, I gotta score the buckets, so I go after the high-scoring players. We got badges for you. We okay. got a badge that'll improve your outside shooting. 
You got badges that will mm -hmm. also improve uh, your team depth so that oh. everyone gets a little bit hotter. Maybe you uh -oh. want to pick the X player so that at level 12, you can get a perk. Everyone's on fire in elimination games. Really make sure that you can close it. Hey. This sounds pretty dynamic. So how can a player grow in the mode using these new features? Great question. So the old staple for my GM was that you'd be given tasks. Now that's been transferred to a conversation where say you have the team governor. He tells uh -huh. you, hey, I want to swap out all the starters. Right. It's now up to you to decide how you navigate through that conversation. Afterwards, maybe you agree, maybe you don't. You get experience, right. you level up. When you level up, you get more attribute points to spend and more perks that you can get until eventually you can reach the cap of 20 and you're going to be unstoppable. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, for my NBA, my, uh, for my NBA fans, franchise fans, this is a big W. My GM was a lot of fun when they had that in the game. Now that they bring it back, now they made it into like where it's like you actually have a reason to keep playing. You know what I'm saying? You actually have a reason. Before, yeah, it was a reason to like win championships and build your team up and everything, but it goes beyond that now. Now it's your character that you have to build up to make your team better too at that. Wow, I like that. Okay, so how do these conversations and interactions take place this year in 2K25? So eventually when someone has a conversation that they wanna have with you, they'll give you a little notification and you actually uh -huh. go inside the MyGM building. It's a free roam environment. Go over, have a conversation, and it really makes it feel like you're in the role playing experience. That you <laughs> okay. Are the okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. That's good for my intros. NBA Cup. Last season, the NBA introduced the in season tournament. Right. I loved watching that. Yeah, this it was cool. Year, it's being rebranded as the NBA Cup. So, mm -hmm. what can we expect from the NBA Cup in NBA 2K25? Uh -huh. One of the cool things about the NBA Cup going forward is that it's going to be able to work with schedule generation. For it's really awesome, but it's so complex to make. So we would basically just have to take the schedule and freeze it. Now the next year we're actually gonna be able to do a little bit. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, wait, this is the HUD. And uh, do I like the HUD? It's all right. It looks a little, uh, looks okay. Not too bad. Schedule generation for, it's really awesome, but it's so complex. To now make. we got gameplay. So we would basically just have to take the schedule and freeze it. Now got gameplay. Year, we're actually gonna be able to do a little bit more, generate different schedules. Oh man, I don't know, man. That gameplay. Schedule and freeze it. Now for next year, we're actually gonna be able to do a little bit uh, more, generate different schedules. I don't know. I'm not, it looks a little bit faster, a little bit more fluid, but then again, like when the ball carrier has a ball in his hands, he looks sticky. Next year, we're actually gonna be able to yeah. do a little bit more, generate. I guess. We gotta get the feel on the game. On, be able to change up groups a little bit. So we think it's gonna be even more engaging. Okay. That wraps up our NBA 2K25 courtside report. I'm pumped. Uh -huh. I know the fans are pumped. Jeff, thanks so much for sharing all the knowledge about this new mode. You got it. And again, thanks to all the fans. We couldn't do this without them. They yeah. put in so much passion and effort just because we know that they're gonna love it. Can't wait to play all it. Right. And remember, for all of you out there, this is where your journey begins to building the next great dynasty. Yes. Make sure to stay tuned for more NBA 2K25 courtside reports. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> my thoughts on it. At least we got my GM back. That way it's more like uh, immersive. I, I, I like that a lot. It's good for us franchise players. Now, before the my GM wasn't really all that hot. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it, it wasn't so great, but I still played it because I, it just felt more, I felt more involved in my franchise. And that's how I want to feel in my franchises. I want to feel more involved. I want to feel more control, talk with players, talk with um, governors and the owners and the coaches, you know, get, see what's going on in the, you know, in the vicinity. And it's great for me as a content creator to actually make this type of series because it's not just only gameplay. I could do stuff behind gameplay. I, I could do stuff behind the game. You know what I'm saying? Not just going into the off season, waiting until the off season and doing stuff like staff management type stuff. I think this is a big W and uh, I'm glad it's back and we don't really just have to you know, focus on my player being like that type of deal where you can walk around and do stuff. Like we actually have that implemented into my GM. I think it's a W. So let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.